I want them to see dancer doing maximum effort in the fame, rather than rather than just a beautiful pose. I start dance photography when I was touring with Matthew Bond's Swanick. As a dancer, I train really hard. I train my body very very hard. I was trained in Hong Kong for four years before I got a scholarship to go to Laban Center to have one more year training. Since then, I start to work professionally as a dancer and choreographer. I dance for different organizations which include World Opera House, English National Opera and three years world tour for Matthew Bond's Swan Lake. I start to take photographs with my colleagues so because they are dancers I so then I start to take some dance photography. Since then and um, when I work with the dancer who have some very special moving quality, I'll invite them to our studio to do some photo session with them. As I'm dancing myself and choreographer myself, I know what dancer maximum, what they can do, what they cannot do. So sometimes you just need to give them confidence or you need to show them what do you want or what they can do. Because as a dancer, sometimes when you go to the studio, you don't have the mirror, so you don't know what you look like you, you're thinking, you're pointing your feet but actually it's sickle so as a choreographer and photographer you need to tell them no actually you are sickle in your feet so you need to really point it, you need to straighten your feet it's, this is not like straight but yeah lengthen your elbow so that kind of little details is important while doing a session with them because they are so Sometimes they are so used to dance in front of the mirror. Um, the reason why I persist in choreographing dance and taking dance photography is that I believe that when someone come to see my work, it gives them something special. It can be a strong feeling, a new perspective, or it just happens to inspire.